Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. Today we will be uh, discussing ring opening metathesis. This topic of today's discussion is other subclasses of this olefin metathesis reaction particularly cross metathesis as well as ADMET or acyclic diene metathesis reaction uh, that we had uh, uh, discussed uh, in our earlier class. Now one of the major uh, drawback of olefin metathesis reaction in general is uh, lack of selectivity and we had uh, observed this issue propping up uh, in both the uh, earlier two discussed examples particularly in cross metathesis as well as uh, in admit uh, uh, reactions that we have spoken about. So uh, uh, today uh, continuing further uh, we are going to be a talking about ring opening metathesis or which is popularly called as ROM. Now, Uh, ROM this ring opening metathesis is nothing but a reversal of ring closing metathesis which is exactly opposite of ROM. And uh, one of the major purpose of uh, this ROM ring opening metathesis is for making terminal dyes. And the factor which guides uh, uh, the factor which guides uh, ring opening metathesis is, is uh, the presence of ring strain uh, in the mole uh, molecule. So ring strain favors ROM. Uh, hence, strain substrates like norbornenes. and cyclobutanes are good for ROM and as is the case with other metathesis reaction here too selectivity is an issue because of the formation of of different cross metathesis and self metathesis products. So the point uh, to note here is the following that ROM uh, or ring opening metathesis is kind of opposite of ring closing metathesis. Now 
uh, one important thing or one characteristic thing about metathesis reactions olefin metathesis reaction is that uh, these reactions are mainly thermoneutral uh, in the sense that it, uh, uh, they are more or less uh, uh, the reactant and the product are uh, more or less of equal energy A because uh, if a double bond is broken uh, that is a new double bond CC double bond is formed. So, there is not much of uh, thermodynamic gain. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the driving force behind ring opening metathesis thus arises from release of uh, ring strains in the olefinic substrate. So, if the olefinic substrate containing the double bond is under uh, strain due to constrained ring, so uh, substrates are extremely good for ring opening metathesis and hence uh, norbornane, cyclobutanes, uh, argus butenes are good for ring opening metathesis reaction. And this uh, um, uh, reaction is also ROM is also suitable for synthesizing terminal dienes. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 so, this is a method in which uh, uh, cyclic uh, olefins are opened up to give terminal dienes. Hmm. And uh, uh, here too uh, uh, selective easy FBT is an issue uh, because uh, different olefins uh, arising from cross metathesis as well as self metathesis arise and then each of these uh, cross metathesis and self uh, metathesis uh, pr uh, products uh, they also exhibit uh, as a mixture of E and Z isomers and uh, which further uh, uh, complicates uh, uh, the process. Now, uh, there are two types of ring opening of ring opening metathesis reaction known. The first one is co-metathesis with an acyclic alkene and this is called ROCM. And the second type is ring opening metathesis polymerization or ROMP. And these are uh, thermodynamically favorable if there is a release of ring strain. So, here we see that ROM can be of two types in which co-metathesis with acyclic diene which is called ROCM or ring opening metathesis polymerization which is ROMP and these are favorable uh, in case there is a release of ring strain. Now, this being the case it is thus important. Uh, to notice that uh, no, uh, not all substrates are uh, suitable for ROM uh, reaction and uh, hence there are substrates which are specific to uh, ROM metathesis reactions and these are the olefinic substrates which uh, definitely should have ring strain.
So, the first that we spoke about was of norbornane. then cyclobutenes or another type as is shown over here so these are cyclobutenes then dinorbornanes then benzvalin Benzvalin, so the way they are a dinorbornin, they are a trisnorbornin known as well. So, trisnorbornins, and then norbornin with alkynes.
CH3 So, these are normal bondings with alkynes. So, what uh, we see that uh, primarily uh, these are mainly strain rings and also uh, the strain rings are of two uh, varieties or three varieties. But the common one is norbornin, uh, they as uh, appear as mononorbornin, dinorbornin, trinorbornin, norbornin with alkyne substrates you know as it is shown over here. Uh, the other uh, type that we had observed is uh, cyclobutenes of the stuff over here as well as benzvaline uh, which is uh, the ring substrates like that over uh, uh, the one drawn over here. So, these uh, are different types of uh, strain ring substrates which uh, uh, undergo ring opening metathesis and that is because uh, of opening of the ring chain. In this context, or this is a nice example of the first one which is called ring opening cross metathesis. Or commonly called ROCM as uh, has been said that uh, one of the drawbacks of uh, metathesis reaction cross metathesis reaction is the uh, uh, lack of selectivity and the selectivity usually arises due to uh, uh, the formation of cross metathesis product uh, in E and Z uh, mixture ratios as well as due to formation of uh, homo uh, olefin metathesis products uh, which also appear as E and Z. A ratio. This homo olefin metathesis products are more commonly a called as self metathesis. So, uh, uh, in order to overcome uh, uh, this lack of selectivity with regard to uh, self metathesis reactions or to suppress self metathesis reactions, the strategy often involves carrying out this reaction in high dilution uh, with excess of alpha olefin which suppresses uh, the self metathesis reaction. The, the reaction is performed in high dilution and in excess of alpha olefin suppressing the self metathesis reaction. This is best illustrated by the reaction shown below. You know this uh, 7 membered diene in presence of light gives this bicyclic compound by this 2 plus 2 cycloaddition giving rise to this cyclobutane derivative which is highly strained. Now, when this cyclobutane derivative is treated with alpha olefin in excess in presence of Grubbs catalyst, then following cross metathesis product is obtained in quite a good 
selectivity as is shown here. The yield is quite good, eighty nine per cent, and even the selectivity easy ratio is about one is to three. So, uh, this is a uh, reaction with high selectivity and high yield. So, this is an example. of ROM with high selectivity and this is demonstrated by snapper in a journal of American society chemical society article. in 1995. So, this is a, a strategy which was consciously employed in enhancing the real yield of the ring opening cross metathesis product and the two sprung strategy involved performing the reaction under high dilution conditions along with the uh, presence of excess amount of the alpha olefin uh, which did the trick. Now, the idea of doing this reaction under excess dilution led to suppression of the self metathesis products and then the subsequent coupling with alpha olefin gave the desired cross metathesis product. Another example of ROCM is with functionalized with functionalized mono substituted olefin selective ROM. Here also bit enhanced selectivity of ring opening metathesis was observed. This is given by this following equation. This is a highly strained norbornene like ring and that when reacted with this olefin in presence of Grubbs catalyst, then the following functionalized monosubstituted olefinic products are obtained as is shown over here the yield is quite high about 83 percent and easy ratio is also in favor of 2 is to 1 per 2 is to 1 and this is a uh, and work by Blakert 
1997. So, uh, with this we come to the conclusion of today's lecture uh, in which we have looked into ring opening metathesis particularly the challenges associated with ring opening metathesis with regard to uh, uh, the lack of selectivity arising from uh, self metathesis as well as cross metathesis and also because of the thermo neutrality of the olefin metathesis reaction in general that uh, all this varied mixture uh, of different metathesis products be formed. Now we have also noted that the driving force for olefin metathesis uh, ring opening metathesis arises uh, because of the release of the ring strain. So, one of the primary criteria uh, for becoming a substrate for ring opening metathesis is that the substrate should have uh, considerable ring strain and because of which uh, substrates like uh, norbornane or its derivatives or cyclobutene or benzfulvane, uh, they are extremely good sub substrates for uh, ring opening metathesis uh, 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 reactions. Uh, we have also seen that ring opening metathesis are of two type, one is ring opening cross metathesis and another other one is ring opening metathesis polymerization. In ring opening cross metathesis, ring containing olefin opens up and then the metathesis happens with another uh, olefin, whereas in the ring opening metathesis polymerization, the strained uh, uh, ring opening, uh, olefin opens up. Uh, and self meta, uh, undergo self metathesis with another ring to give a polymer chain. Uh, we have also uh, uh, discussed about how uh, the uh, yields of the cross metathesis products uh, can be uh, increased, enhanced in ring opening cross metathesis reaction and this was achieved uh, successfully achieved by carrying out the reaction under dilute conditions in presence of uh, excess amount of alpha. Uh, uh, olefin. We have also uh, seen uh, the reaction with uh, alpha olefin with a functionalized monosubstituted olefin uh, uh, using Grubbs catalyst. So, this sort of shows uh, that uh, uh, this is a useful method for uh, making uh, olefins with terminal dyes because that is what is the product that uh, comes out because of ring opening polymerization of strained olefinic substrates. So, we are going to uh, look into more of the applications of ring opening metathesis polymerization uh, as we continue to discuss uh, this in the next lecture. I once again thank you uh, uh, for being with me in this lecture and we are going to be discussing ring opening metathesis in a greater great more detail uh, when we take this topic up uh, in the next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.